Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and it's time for a most disastrous weekly painting progress. And at least it was just hobby disaster related. I'm fine, everybody's fine. In fact, this week was pretty good actually overall, despite having to see almost all of my entire immediate family in other places, except for Mr. Sparkle Trout, who is busy making AI-generated anime uh, VHS tape covers. But uh, nevertheless, I know he was kind of preoccupied house-sitting, so I will give him a hard time because I would like to see him painting. So it's not just me slopping my way through things. And slop I did. So it was a tragic hobby week for myself. Um, I don't know what was going on with my hands, but I literally broke at least six models that I can think of. Two that I was in the middle of painting, uh, two that I was prepping, and two maybe three now that I think maybe it was there might have been more than six things broken but two for sure that I was about to film I think a third one I better go check and then another one I just broke now and literally one that I broke while I was getting ready to film this and searching around out in the dark trying to find the missing piece which we'll get to but here is a out of focus Chinese boxer from War Games Atlantic. Very basic, but I wanted a guy at least with just his fists. I wanted a nice Wong Fei Hong style guy. And I notice now he has no eyebrows, but we can fix that later. Whether I do or not is an entirely different story. I've just got so much stuff that needs painting still. And I am so desperately ready for Thanksgiving break. Thankfully, the area we live, the kids get the entire week off for the almost the end of November. I'm looking forward to it, and with it, as always, the inevitable Kingdom Death Black Friday sale. So, uh, we had to at least try to get another one done. Uh, didn't come out as nice as I would like. I'm not happy with her face, but then again, I know it's super zoomed in, but the sucky thing is, you know, I've seen so many guys on Instagram and social media and everywhere that just do amazing knockout jobs, and I'm trying and plugging away, and I guess, you know, i got to give myself credit for at least getting that much done. But damn, some of those guys are good. And I'm just like, meh, looking at my stuff here. So this is the um, Summer Twilight Night. That just barely came out. And I know that now that my dad's back in town, he's getting the big one. So we'll let him knock that out. Hopefully he can do a better job than me. All right. And I guess since we're just on a roll with uh, actual physical models... I tried to paint up the whole thing, the plastic version, and again, I'm not super pleased with my results. I really am going to have to go back and fix those. Those look like a mess. The horns on his helmet, I am not pleased, and the hands are quite sloppy as well. I think I was going to, I actually was planning on doing the fingernails since he is supposed to be barehanded, and um, probably forgot, and it just doesn't look all that great, so we'll go back and try to clean that up at some point. Maybe I'll even show him off. I don't know. I'm not super pleased with his cape either, but it's just going to have to suffice for now. And I know it's super zoomed in, but that's the problem. I can see all the mistakes. I still really like this model, actually. I even tried to get the... Oh, God, that's all glossy still. Unfortunately, this guy, despite being nice and dynamic, I still feel, having spent too much time with him over the last few days... Uh, that there's a lot of that kind of soft melding of lines and edges that was an issue with the earlier models. I haven't seen that in a while, so I was kind of surprised to see that everything just kind of blends together, you know, under his cape. But again, who's going to really spend time outside of people like me and now you, because I'm showing you this, uh, all the dwarf butts. All the dwarf butts you need. I always had to paint a lot of butts. So, this guy is from Martin Artelier's um, Magical Girl Assault. This is like one of the bad guys. And it looked a lot better when I took him outside. And unfortunately, that blue ink I have got just does not want to work when it comes to spraying it. So, I'm going to have to go back. But I also noticed I didn't actually paint the straps on his shoulder pads. And I want to touch this up, too. It's kind of blah on the back. I wanted to paint him up like one of the... What are they called? Requiem? 
guys from uh, Ark Knights. I, I swear I see these guys and I just think Ark Knights every time. Was it Requiem? I don't even remember. Anyways, we'll hopefully get that guy fixed. Uh, here's the one I was talking about. I was just out there finishing him up, and then I broke him. He's got nothing in his hands. Uh, Erkman did a Metal Gear inspired set, and I couldn't make up my mind. I really like the Play Arts Kai uh, Square version that Square Enix put out in the all white. And so I started with that, and I wasn't really happy, and then I just kind of kept going and messing around with it. And all was nice and well, and then I was about to bring him in, and snap! He lost his sword blade, and I have absolutely no idea where it is. I swear I searched and searched, and that was like icing on the cake of just everything that I've been trying to put together this week. Ugh, you know, what can you do but persevere? So now I'm going to have to figure out some sort of a blade, and I have no idea. If you guys have any ideas of stuff that I might have handy, I don't know. I, I'm really, I don't want to have to print out the whole figure again. Speaking of which, I think I broke it a while back, and then it's just like, you know, coming back to finish off the job. And finally, the one fellow who kept everything, you know, from falling apart and keeping me from losing my mind, always with a positive attitude, always with a smile on his face, a model that I feel needs no introduction, because it's one of those models that's like, you know, having a childhood friend on the table. Da 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 da. da. Wait, that's that's Final Fantasy. <laughs> so this poor little slime, uh, unfortunately, got all kinds of primer. Like, I guess it was really cold when I did it, and it got stuck to the box that I was spraying in. So he has a bit of a little misprint, but at least the paint kind of covers him up. But you know, I had to go and print like. A good dozen solid slimes. I always liked Dragon Quest. I liked Final Fantasy more growing up. But I've always liked Dragon Quest. And I just want to know that we're going to see more of these. Uh, Arnis Studio, who put out a, a few uh, Dragon Quest-inspired sculpts. And actually, he was going to be in a video uh, later this week, hopefully, if I can remember to get it off my phone, now that I mention it to myself. Um... Did a few other Dragon Quest inspired sculpts, but not as many as their Final Fantasy stuff. And if you notice the other day, I had one of those uh, Final Fantasy fourteen art books on here. I've just been going down a rabbit hole. But that's probably my own fault for going back and playing a bunch of those games, like on the Switch and on my phone, and just reminiscing. I still think my favorite is five. Dragon Quest five. Really liked that one, although nine was pretty cool too. Anyway, I'm totally rambling at this point. Uh, if you're interested in tracking down, building, painting, doing a better job than me, sharing your stories of hobby woes, uh, by all means, you know, drop those down in the comments below. We'll have links to all this stuff, even though our poor half-naked kingdom death lady is not even on the camera. Of course, if you're interested in any of these printed models, always keep in mind that more than likely my mini factory is going to be doing their big, ridiculous uh, Black Friday STL sale, as well as, of course, the usual Kingdom Death one. So I don't know about you guys, but I'll be keeping my eyes peeled, and hopefully we'll be all be enjoying some fun stuff in the very near future. So with that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.